The time has finally come. You need to set your reminders now. Set your alarm. Because if you really want one of these, the Analog Duo, your opportunity is two days away. Ridiculous. First announced in October of 2020. That's, that's when I did my first video on this thing when Analog talked about it. And it was like, when is this going up for pre-order? We're supposed to go up for pre-order the next year, then the next year. And then now, in 2023, finally, price increase and a, you know, pre-order date. Not really a release date, but a pre-order date. So, you know, people are going to be going crazy for this thing. So, the Analog Duo, the higher energy analog system. What does this entail? So, you're going to be playing your, you know, little Turbo Graphic 16 hue cards you know all that good stuff pc engine on here disc based as well so you could play your disc based games i really see the value with this system for somebody who has a pc engine a turbo graphics collection especially discs right because man those systems they they can be a you know a pain in the butt to keep them running properly and you know it, it it's a whole thing you know sometimes you have a nice system especially one of these, you know, TurboGrafx-16 CD or a PC Engine CD, and you want to keep that drive nice and, and, and you know, calibrated and perfect, and you don't want to use it too often, but you do want to play your games. This is a nice little thing to have to just be like, boom. It's close enough to original hardware. It's FPGA, completely engineered, and it's going to be using the analog OS, which I really like the analog OS with the uh, pocket here. I, I, I'm thinking they may start like, yeah, they did the Super NT and the Mega SG final run. But I, I have a feeling at some point they may like revisit some of these systems to where they're, oh, they're more powerful. They have a, a newer FPGA and they all run like the analog OS. I have a feeling they're going to do that. But this has been a, a, a long time coming here. Duo is the ultimate all-in-one NEC video game system. Uh, features an original style cartridge slot, controller port, and CD-ROM drive. Means it's compatible with Hue cards, turbo chips, and CD-ROMs, plus the original hardware uh, and accessories. So, you know, all your stuff that you need there to get extra controllers going, all that good stuff. They do sell uh, 8-bit, though, the little PC Engine 2.4 gigahertz wireless controllers, which they're okay. They're kind of small, though, man. They're kind of small. Uh, we were using those with the the Turbo Graphics Mini PC Engine Mini, but I, you know I guess if you you picked up some of those, held on to them, uh, I think they've kind of gone in and out of stock, but they're still out there uh, on Amazon. They're they're worth getting, especially if you want to grab one of these. Hey, maybe they're eventually gonna start shipping these uh, cartridge adapters for this thing. But I, I do have to tell you, like, let's get down here where the actual announcement is made. I do have to tell you with the uh, analog pocket for me. This has been like an awesome system. I, I just really love this thing. I even have PC Engine CD running on it right now. This thing is an amazing little device. It, it's sweet. And with this thing, you may be counting me out as far as competition getting in line trying to buy one of these analog duos because this thing just, it, it does it for me. I could play PC Engine, PC Engine CD, Turbo Graphics, all that good stuff with Open FPGA. And I have the dock so I could plug it up to my TV. I I'm covered type of thing. This right here is going to be for those people who just have a, a nice collection of games. But I know there's going to be people like, I want to jailbreak it. I want to use, like, you know, probably have similar capabilities as this thing. I, I don't know. You're going to be able to load your ROMs type of thing. And, and that's fine. But I, I just, you know... I'm fine with this thing, I think. Like, I don't have a big collection of Hue cards or Turbo Chips. I don't have... Well, I have a couple CD games, but for me, just having a handful of games, do I need to buy this thing? They have increased the price, so that's one thing to keep in mind as well. Let's see. Did anything change on here? I don't, I don't think so. But down here, they tell you what's in the box. You get a nice little worldwide USB power supply. Great. Pre-orders go live May 19th, 2023, 8 a.m. Pacific. Pacific. So that's going to be, what, 11 a.m. Eastern if you're in the U.S.? So we'll go ahead and take a look at the uh, store listing in a second here. But I do want to make note of some of the stuff that it talks about down here. So it says the Analog Duo does not play copyrighted ROM files. 
that's typical out of the box. They always say that, but there's usually more times than not, as there's never been a not from what I understand, you know, a, a jailbreak or some form to load ROMs. Like with the pocket, you have open FPGA here. You're not going to have that. So you're going to have to hope for a jailbreak. I would imagine. So it's not designed using software emulation uses FPGA. The duo does not operate utilizing any BIOS files. So like they're not using the legit BIOS files. So to, to stay uh, legal there, right? It says the 8-bit though, PCE 2.4 gigahertz controller and receiver not included. They are sold separately. The included 2.5G receiver is not required to use with the duo as the duo does have 2.4G built in and it will sync with 8-bit though controllers. Like, they're not the same company, but they work together. They have common, uh, you know, people who work between the companies type of thing. So 8-bit though usually makes sure these things work fine. And then it does say down here, Duo features analog OS, but does not support open FPGA. So with OS, you're going to have like the library stuff, memories, all those kind of things, but no open FPGA. So you're not going to, be sitting there having it loaded up like this where you're selecting a bunch of different systems people are developing for it that's not the purpose of the system sure i would imagine with the jailbreak at some point they'll probably have you know other systems that can run on it but okay in the store they have this listed at 250 dollars originally it was like 200 bucks when they first announced it and this is the one thing that kind of like i don't know why they do this if it's you know according to them on twitter Available in limited quantities, shipping in 2023. There's no specific date as far as when it's shipping, but expect like 2023, expect it to be December, like the, the last day of December. And then you may hear like, okay, it slipped to February. And then fe like there, there's bound to be delays. There, there usually is with these guys. But if you want to set that aside, like, hey, we don't know exactly when, when we're going to receive it. The thing that's annoying is that limit two per order. Why? You said it's limited quantities should be limited to one per order. I'm I'm like most likely not even going to bother getting one of these because I just don't have the collection to justify it and my means of playing those types of games. I've been using the product that they, you know, they've already sold. People are still waiting on theirs on these. I, I've seen uh, people complaining, but yeah, limit two per order. It should just be one. But before we go, the one thing I do want to note here is if you've never dealt with analog before, expect to wait. But then at the same time, expect the shipping charge to be a little ridiculous. Like you're going to be like, why are they charging this much, right? It depends on where you live. But then also depending on your bank account, if you're using like a debit card or whatever, however you're choosing to pay it, if the company that you bank with or that your card is through charges an international transaction fee, you're going to get taxed even more because their bank is in like Hong Kong. Every time I've ordered from them, I've I've ordered like something, say it was like 500 bucks. I've paid like a bunch of money in freaking international fees because you're not, it, it's going to Hong Kong. I, I bank with uh, Bank of America and they charge a transaction fee. So if your bank does the same thing, don't, you know, just telling you so you're not surprised because it's happened to me every single order, every single order have an international transaction fee with these guys. It's just ridiculous. And they take the money up front. So this 250 bucks, just look at it like you're going to be in it like probably close to 300 with shipping. Uh, come the 19th when this goes live, you're paying all that up front. And who knows for sure? Like I've, I've complained in the past, like feels like they're getting an interest free loan because, yeah, maybe they could hold on to this for six months. Then that six months comes up and they're like, hey, sorry, we got to delay it. These guys don't communicate extremely well. I mean, other companies have done a lot worse, to be honest with you. But yeah, just be prepared to wait. Be prepared to pay everything up front. And they're going to just take that. That charge, not like a pending charge. It's like they took it from you. But let me know what you guys think. I do appreciate y'all watching. Just want to give you the heads up. Bye.